How are you, Joey? Mr. Brown. Ah, uh, what's happening today? Oh, I I just thought uh, I uh, I just got done listening to our first uh, uh -huh. conversation on YouTube, and yeah. it was very interesting. Good, good. Yeah, good. it uh, things are. See, things are, I'm understanding you more than yes. what you're doing and what you're really trying to do that I don't think people have a handle on it. Oh, I'm, you're right there. And uh, it was it was just, I, I sat here forever listening to the whole thing, and it was just, man, it was just crazy. It's just like, wow. Yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. Uh, good. <laughs> I'm glad I'm I'm really pleased with that to hear that because that's that's there have been times Joey let me tell you when I think oh fuck where where are these other bloody smart people who are looking at this shit but uh, there's not many there doing it no uh, there's some times in your life where um and by no means am I a perfect person by no means but it's always going to be trauma is always going to be there for everybody. Oh, that's I understand so that. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, but, but, um, and until people understand or, or uh, what's the word? Um, until people come to comprehend what it's all about. Right. Or what it's been right. about or what's, whichever way you want to look at that. I mean, uh, I, you're, you're, not, you're doing things not only just to put a buck in your pocket, but you're there to change the laws so you can cut down on these priests that are uh, molesting children yeah. till this day. Yeah. Yeah. You know? and, and I think that, you know, don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, if I hit the lottery, I... I just need 85000 for to pay my health off, you know. I'm not a gold digger or anything like that, but you, you're, you're, you're doing a lot more. Um, and I, I wish people, more peace, people would jump on board and uh, understand your theory. But some people are still to the point where they're scared to come out. Um, you know, and that's the biggest thing right there. Yes. Well, it's difficult. It, it's damn difficult. I, I <clears throat> and I've looked at this on from a number of you different... You better not be cutting out on me. Sorry, Joey. Uh, yeah, it's going to try and connect us back together. No, look, I, I've looked at this, and, and uh, I've discussed a little bit of it, and... Uh, and, and I've read a lot um, that touches it and the bottom line of it comes down to the responses of people in my early childhood and uh, and there's the many of these people who've researched and looked at this stuff particularly Ellis Miller they uh, or she refers to to that circumstance, and she uses the phrase "enlightened witness." If you've got somebody as a child, if you have one person in the child's environment who effectively says to the child, "I'm listening, and I believe you. Um, I'll, I'll try and do something about it." Something, something that supports the child's story, and that makes a whole world of difference to the the person's ability to cope with with the issues. The right. one who doesn't receive that sort of support, they can internalise um, there, and that's that's the next best thing, I suppose. But the one who's going to hit real problems is the one who goes to people for help and they say the effective outcome is more of the superstition and, and mythology 
is what you need at that point, which is not what you need, most definitely. But and they're the ones who who uh, who are still in there, uh, supporting and and uh, and ooing and ahhing over the next or the latest incident of priests sexually abusing children, because they've had to block it out. They've had to lock it up, compartmentalise it. Human brain compartmentalises stuff. It's a survival strategy. And just as we've had survival strategy, strategies we've, and, and, uh, and they've been helpful, these people still involved with religion. That's a survival strategy. If they don't right. belong to the religion, then they die. That's the, the law of their church. You don't belong, right. you're dead, you're burned, you roast meat for the buddy for Sunday and, and everybody else who supports you is roast as well. Um, right. It's a survival strategy to stay on board with, with that. You, you either join your abuser as a survival strategy or you shut down or you run type of thing. Right. Um, and that's what trauma is about. Right. I uh, get that now. Yeah, yeah. I, I get this now. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to uh, understand a little bit. Good. And Good. Uh, I might... Um, you mentioned one time um, where the, this gentleman got two checks instead of one, two different checks. Yes, yes. See, I, w I was told um, wherever I decided to sue them at, if I sued them in Philly, yep. then I couldn't sue, sue them in Iowa. But right. if I sued them in Iowa, I can't get that. But your trauma theory, I don't know. Well, okay, let, let me throw, throw this to you. Um, any agreement you signed there, um, okay, if you could say that there is a, a, a standard set of clauses to go along with that, what you signed off on <clears throat> was, was your and the laws and your lawyers best knowledge at that point in time. Now, if further evidence comes to light, such as trauma theory and, and can, can, uh, can add more weight, etc., then that's a fresh start as far as I understand it. Yeah, that's exactly... Yes. I, that's exactly what I was hitting at. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so I think there's a lot of people out there who are eligible. If I go back to that fellow, um, he well, that, that was the California six hundred million uh, payout. That's ten years ago or something like that. Nowadays, yes, sir. Now there's been a lot of of uh, lot of knowledge, a lot of information come out since that time. And and if you take trauma theory, and and um, it's a theory, just like gravity is a theory, and yes. just like gravity, every child who's who's ever been called a Catholic child has experienced those two two events, if, if you want to call them that. Right. And, and uh, they're consistent, they're 100% consistent with being Catholic. And they are clinically describable as traumatic experiences, lifelong trauma. Right. Um, so... <clears throat> do you see where I'm going with oh, this? Oh, I, I, I do. Okay. If you can get a lawyer who's interested in, in talking... Um, I'm happy to to discuss it because I think that uh, if 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 there's a lawyer that would would that's got a grip on it um, in there that 
they can come out of it with, I don't know what the right terminology would be in a legal world, but but to say that this is this is traumatically enforced bondage. Right. This is this is what being raised a Catholic is, and uh, and that goes against the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. If you've moved right up there into torture and human rights breaches, very very seriously. Um, I am going to be. I'm going to say that I would be absolutely stunned off my face if this knowledge has not been looked at by the church. In other words, what I'm saying is they must have some degree of an understanding, their legal people or whoever, must have some degree of understanding. They, these people own probably the largest single owner of hospitals in the world. So that says they've got access to this type of knowledge. And, and that sort of knowledge they must keep secret. Otherwise, it opens the door to, to, uh, to action in the United States. And here's an interesting point. There's no fucking statute of limitations on it. No, stop right there. Right there. Just stop for one minute. Statute of limitations. Let me tell you how I got fucked up in the ass about that. Yep. Anytime any person takes a child across state lines or a different country to molest them, mm -hmm. uh, they disregarded that for me. I, for me, mm -hmm. it was like, well, that's what he did. He took me from Philadelphia to Corning, Iowa, just to do what that's he wanted trafficking. to do. That's trafficking. That's trafficking. And he's trafficking across state boundaries. And um, they didn't do nothing about it. Well, your lawyer he's, needs he's, his ass kicking. Yeah, that's it. He's, I mean, the priest has died a couple of years ago. But, sure. But, but the, that, the, that was evidence. But he, was, he was alive when I went ahead and. Yeah, did so that was evidence at the time. So, so right. that was poor advice. And, and that means, yeah. as I understand it, you, you should still he's have right. an option there. Yeah, he, he's, I think, he, between me and you, mm -hmm. I think that. It didn't seem at times through the uh, conversations that uh, the lawyers and us, uh, like, he's almost like uh, that. Back again? Yeah. Sorry about that. No, no problem. The re Yeah. Well, wait. Uh, yeah, they did nothing about the trafficking. Mm -hmm. And then they said that, uh, what's that word you just said and I cut you off? Um. Not trafficking, but um, mm, I'd have to go God. back. I, I know I, my head went out, away when the bloody connection dropped. Yeah, mine did too. But see, um, all the statute of limitations should have been thrown out, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it, they didn't do that. Yes. And, it's, and by law, mm -hmm. by law, mm -hmm. they have to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yes, justice has not been served. No, you, you've had partial justice. Okay. You know who O.J. Simpson was, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of his lawyers, the very first one that he got, mm -hmm. he, he, it was a joke. All he does is, is, is he works for himself, but he's also working for the other people. And it just what doesn't make sense to me. Like he would uh, – he was known for just like uh, – Making agreements and don't go to court. You know what I mean? All Stuff right. like that. Yeah, settlements. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I feel, you know, I see so you got me going now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just feel with this uh, trauma thing, you know, mm -hmm. first of all, I don't think I was really represented in a way. Well, the, the, the knowledge and understanding of trauma and the involvement of trauma in being raised as a Catholic, is is new evidence. <clears throat> this this uh... this is why you want to get this trauma. See, you you got your hands on all kinds of fires with these people. I don't know how you manage it, but man, 
God damn, dude. I'm when you man. when you've lived a life like I have, Joey, your life becomes toxic with this shit, and that <laughs> means that oh, it Sorry. is. I know. I'm, I know. And that I means if you touch it, you touch me. You touch this toxic shit. That uh, I don't have to do a bloody thing. <laughs> don't have to do a thing. I just have right. to be me, because right. because. Uh, Yes, it's toxic, toxic, toxic. <laughs> That's an amazing word. <laughs> and, and, and all the, yeah, and and uh, new, um, new any new information mm -hmm. that there's a lot more new coming out because I remember a lot more. Mm -hmm. First of all, mm -hmm. um, and then listen. It just took me to listen to that tape that was on the website that you put on Google. Yep. yep. Yep, and uh, I, you know what I think I need to start doing too. Mm -hmm. I need to get a hold of. Uh, yeah, I definitely, definitely want you to be involved in this with me because you, you know, I mean, I know what you're talking about, but you're the kind of person that gets people to listen and also piss them off. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like seventy percent piss them off and thirty percent listen. <laughs> They get up in the morning and they tell their wives or boyfriends or whoever, honey, I'm not going into work today. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Jim, Jim Brown's going to be or John Brown's going to be calling or emailing. I, I just don't want to deal with this guy today. <laughs> so you make this fucking bloody bank miss work. Are you happy with that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes. But I got some, yeah, I got a, I got a, uh, I don't even know how I would go about, um, uh, I don't know even how I would go about this. Um, I don't know. I, I no, guess I don't either, to, but, but, uh, I'm trying to you're figure out. You're in Iowa, aren't you? Huh? You're in Iowa, aren't you? Yeah. Mm. There's a, I don't know. I, I, I mean, don't know which lawyers would be the right ones to touch. Which which, which ones you said you knew from the states? Um, Zolkin was the one there down in California. Okay, there's another one, there's another people too that you know of that I said their name before, and they're real big out there. They've been it's, they've been trying. Yeah, the, uh, the fellow in New York who works with Snap very closely. Um. Um, what's his name? Is it Jeffrey? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. He, he's he's known. See, for, most. But he's, my, I don't think he's the right man for this reason. That that uh, I think he sees a lifetime of uh, of lawsuits for him. He's big money earner and whatnot. And I don't think he's got the willingness to look at it. Zolkin, I think, does. Zolkin was I the mean, one... Go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm, you're right, I'm, I'm jumping you too. Um, Zolkin was the one, or one of the law firms, they were the first billion dollar law firm in the US, I believe. Oh, wow. Mm. That was all settlements with the Catholic Church. Um, okay. Have you talked to anybody in their office, or... I Ken did at some point, uh, quite a few years back. Ken Kasarek, um, yeah. and oh wow, the issue was then. I think that's where we came up with an understanding of uh, if there was new evidence came to light, then then the. Uh, the agreement that it had been signed can be waived or put aside or whatever the the thing is, and and the effects of based on the new evidence. Okay, um, and if you look at trauma, an embedded trauma, this this is new evidence. Oh, you're Most blown away from me again, aren't you? <laughs> oh. Don't tell me that bloody gone, has it? Someone's playing with our computers and won't let us talk anymore. <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. Don't okay, know what it is. I want to know. Yeah. 
um, uh, if Ken can talk to this person or you or someone and just kind of throw something out like he already settled. Um, what we might do is I might uh, might put these, uh, there's about 20 minutes conversation in what we've got here. Um, I'll put it into one file, in, into a sound file. Okay. And get that to you. Um, and... It's just that you're very good at your words and you word things correctly. Um, I, mm. I, am start, I, I am starting to understand what you're talking about. It's a learner, that one, because, because yeah, terminology, language is, is huge in this whole process. And yeah, because I, w I was called. Still there? Yep. Okay. Uh, I was told when I signed this agreement I could never, ever sue the Catholic Diocese again. Well, that's an argument that that uh, I know that others have had, and and uh, they've their circumstances said no, that's not the case. That they signed signed a contract, mm -hmm. they signed the agreement, mm -hmm. and so did they have a second chance at them or not? I believe so. That's the way I understood it. Okay, I I, I I'm. God damn charger. Anyway, yeah, you know, I just, uh, I'm, I'm really here for you. Um, I know it's nice to vent, all that. Um, but I wasn't thinking on the lines of myself because, you know, my stuff's done. I was just thinking on the lines of helping you and we talk to each other, you know, we can vent and everything. But I, that trauma theory, mm -hmm. that is a, I have to find someone that believes in that trauma theory. Yeah. Next time you see your psychologist or your psychiatrist, yep. Um, steer them to it, and okay. and uh, and ask them what their opinion is. <clears throat> now, it separates there and then, in my opinion, it separates the fantasy believers and non-fantasy believers. Um. The non-fantasy people um, who see it, see the reality of what this stuff is about, they're going to nod their heads and, and say, yes, I agree. Um, any other response, and that's silence or shake of head, then uh, well, move on I, and find somebody who knows We always get disconnected. We'll get it together. It'll happen. I'll get this... To, conversation together in a in a single file are you there yeah it said okay. you went offline for a minute yeah uh i'm gonna get off of something else i was hold on one second so i can figure this shit out that's okay and take this off of here i'll bang it together in a in a single audio file and we'll get the thing there um and see what you can turn up because I think I, I I agree with you. I I agree with you wholeheartedly. This is yeah, and and if you get a good lawyer who understands this stuff, um, understands the law and understands the trauma, right? Then right. then yeah, I think there's every possibility. The 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 amount of money changes dramatically as well, and the, in the end. I, uh, well, it's a level above. I, mean, I know you got a lot to do, and I know you're a very busy man, and I understand yeah, 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 that. You're right, you're right. You know, and you got a lot of sticks in the fire, let's say. But I'm thinking, man, that trauma theory, I'm thinking Good. that's, yeah, that's my ticket to, uh, if I can find somebody yes. that would even listen. Yep. yep. Um, but I would have someone. It would have to be. It would have to be an attorney that wants to knock their blocks off. You know. Yes. That's, yes. That's and this is why I say. This is why I said. I don't know about Jeffrey Anderson as the other lawyer I was trying to think of. Um, he's the New York fellow. 
Zolkin Lawyers. Irwin, Irwin Zolkin, I think his name is Irwin. Um, Z A L K I N. Z A L K I N. Zolkin oh. Law Firm. Zolkin Law this. Firm. Where are they? Right. Where are they? Spell that out to me. For you, it's a Z A L K I N. Z A L K I N. K I N. And he's from New York? No, 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 no. No, no. He's from the West Coast. He's okay. uh, there from, I'm just trying to f find it, uh, near S Solana Beach. Um, hang on. Near San Diego. Just hang on. Right. In fact, he's in San Diego. Oh, God. Okay. They're in. Now, uh, does he know about this trauma theory stuff? I don't think so. The last time I, uh, hang on a second, and I can send you a Google thing for it. Okay. Um, no. <laughs> Defining this in this way has been uh, fairly recent. Okay. Oh, come on. We didn't end, did we? You're going again. Why are we in? Hey. Uh, Still there? I'm here. Okay. Sorry about that. I don't You're know right. why he keeps right. doing that, man. I'm right next to the mo. I'm 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 in the computer room. So yeah, no, no. <laughs> it, it said you said you went offline there, but there's a link in uh, in Skype there for you to, to okay. click on, and that's that's to the Zolkin Law Firm. Um, in there. And how how did you get? What brought? How did you guys get to know each other? I mean, how do you know about this person or this? This law just, firm? Yeah, um, just, oh, is it the wow. newspapers? Or? No, no, no. No. Um, that goes back to my my uh, kicking around with Ken Kasarek when he was alive. Um, Ken's not alive? No, no. He died last year. Oh shit! You, I, I, that you must have said something, and I didn't. I, my right. God, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. That's too bad, man. Yeah, it is. He was a pretty switched-on guy for a lot of things, and uh, and he uh, he really challenged them in in lots and lots of ways. Um, somehow through, oh, Ken and I did a Joey. We did a bunch of crazy shit. Um, I believe you for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I recall. Well, one I recall. I rang his mother, and because <laughs> um, he's been estranged in a manner from his mother for many many years, and I'm I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> what story we used, but. <clears throat> Ken wanted to get an understanding of, of what was going with the family. And so I rang and had a good half hour chat with, with his mother. Um, and I think it helped him reconnect a bit with, with his mother. Um, wow. There. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, you're good, you're, you know, I'll tell you what, Mr. Brown. Well, hang on. <laughs> you're a good man. You really are. No, the you other, are. The, you are great man the other thing that we did we went bloody ape shit on ringing around we went ringing around on uh ken was going at one of one episode ken was uh applying for a job um it was about cleaning up web pages getting them pushed off the internet by some bloody law firm and uh, Ken, because of his love for Jesus and the Catholic Church, um, he was going to work for this crowd for for next to nothing. And but he he couldn't stop laughing. So we <laughs> we, we, we muffed that. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. And then another one was uh, oh the bishops had brought out some big new long named fancy bloody piece of uh, of uh, <laughs> protocol or something and every 
Catholic institution in the country was supposed to have a copy of this thing right to hand. <laughs> and so we rang places all over the States. And, uh, and <laughs> I was the uh, a representative of the Vatican because... <laughs> <laughs> well, if you if you listen to Benny, Benny was the Pope at the time, and he'd be in the press for saying something, um, things like, um, <laughs> get this filth out of the church, he made that statement, so th that's where Ken latched on and finished up with that T-shirt that said, Dirty Filthy Catholics, <laughs> the word filth. And yeah, I then, agree, I agree. The Pope uh, said we should put, Benny at least, should put all, uh, every resource or something of the church towards cleaning this up. Ah, that was an open invitation to Ken. That says whatever we could lay our hands on. Um, the day we worked that one out was the, the um, uh, inaugural day or whatever of the year of the priest and they'd done this big fancy graphic image um, and and had cost them 50 or 50,000 or something or other uh, commissioned and on the day they published it I stole it <laughs> 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 you stole it. Oh yeah, well, well, well no, we were not oh stolen. God, not stolen. No, no, no. I'm sorry. That's the wrong word. Yeah, exactly. we simply took the Pope at his word and said every resource of the church should be put to use here. So it didn't matter, as far as Ken was concerned, if 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 there was a vehicle that belonged to the to the, the local bishop, and he could get a hold of the keys, then we could use that to help help survivors with. Oh my God! You know, you guys, you guys are wild. Ah, oh, damn! It was funny. Um, oh God, that is a trip. I that remember ringing these nuns in Buffalo, New York, and oh shit, asking them, <clears throat> did they did they have a copy of this protocol or whatever it was handy? <clears throat> oh yes, says this nun. Oh yes, and I said, okay, this is when I'm the the. Um, representative of the Vatican. Uh, <laughs> she must have hung up on me 20 times and I'd ring back and I'd ring back. Um, um, other ones, we, we did about, oh, I don't know how many calls we did. It, we did enough. We did too many in some areas. We should have been. Because <laughs> they started to know the Australian accent was a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> um, Boy, that's just like my magazine deal. <laughs> but we counted that. We counted that with, with. Um, um, oh, if, if they would question you and and carry on, and what you did is you diverted, you digressed. And you asked them if they would join you for a few moments in silent prayer. Oh, boy. Okay. So that stopped them. And, and bang. So you'd have a moment or two of silent prayer and you would refer to them as sister and, and uh, blah. And some of them would talk. Oh. Fucking amazing. Are... Yeah. Um, and... and uh, we weren't directed well enough. Like, we were learning a lot at the same time, and so there was stuff in there that, that you knew was bizarre and you needed to dig deeper into it, but you really didn't have an understanding of it. Right. Um, if if uh, Ken and I talked of psychology a great deal, um, a, a great deal, Um and uh, because I'm, I've done nothing but read psychology for the last 20, 30 years. Um, uh, I, I can just Google stuff. and Yeah, it just, 
if we had have had the knowledge of trauma theory at that time, I think we we would have been far more effective. They were we were pretty bloody effective. Um, Ken used to do, Ken used to go to the San Diego Cathedral in his shirt. Oh my God! Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! Um, well, we all would have got along real well. Yeah, there's a Catholic university there. He he went there. I designed up cards for him as the as an official um, molested Catholic. <laughs> and, <laughs> and my and God, he he I, would hand out these cards to San Diego, the cathedral at the university, <laughs> um, and they Ken the molested Catholic. Yes, um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are nuts. Well, uh, it was it was crazy shit, but these you're talking we're talking about. Bizarre mythology and superstition. Uh, <coughs> nothing stable or sane in that. So it didn't matter right. where you went. <coughs> I mean, it's all as bizarre as the the bearded man in the sky and and bloody angels and devils and spirits and demons and exorcisms and all the rest of that bullshit. Um, the stuff we were doing was maybe bizarre, but it fitted right in. Right, <laughs> shit, that's right up my clock too, man. I, I would, I would have been the third stooge. <laughs> I tell you, um, Ken, here's one that I know. We tried to find these guys. There was a group of guys, five or seven. I'm not sure of the number. Um, they were north of Ken. And I think they're on the West Coast. And, and he, he wanted to try and find them. There was a little bit of a snippet. I think it was a YouTube video. Um, <clears throat> what, what they were doing was they had a regular thing with some um, a vague feeling at Seattle, but, but I'm, I'm well, a long time ago. What these guys would do is they would dress up in priestly garb. One or two of them would be in bishop's kit and they would waltz around and and go to some... <clears throat> I guess they'd done their homework, Catholic-owned restaurant. Huh. And they would order up huge and drink huge and then then they would walk out in effect and pay for it with a blessing oh nice and and these guys were regulars at it and and uh, we we didn't know much about it um, and Ken tried to find out and we never did bloody find them but they they were onto the scam. They were scamming the scammers. Yes. Uh, yes. And it was all about. I remember a uh, a priest collared shirt was about forty five dollars at the time. You could <laughs> you can buy them online. Right. Um, <laughs> and uh, and yeah, we had this idea that that uh, we should be able to go and and get a free feed and a bottle of wine somewhere and and uh, pat the owner's head and say, you know, oh, the, the Lord will provide you, blah, you just keep feeding me and we're all going to be fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the nun in Buffalo, ah, damn, that was a funny round <laughs> there. What we found, oh, yes, that's right. <coughs> what we did, we started out, <coughs> the, the Bishop's Conference was, uh, the, they were announcing a, a, a new entity, because you know what the Catholic Church is like, you've you got this entity that's, that's got this fantastically long, humane-sounding 
name for this new group. They've 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 uh, they've learned something, and now we've got Jesus Christ and Saint Saviour and and Saint Michael and Saint Peter and Saint Paul and Matthew as well, and we're all of that coordinated executive council for the relief of human suffering across the, the United States and Canada and Europe and Germany. you got this fucking organization with a name that's 14 miles long and it's, it's offering salvation and, and saving. And they're going to have big new policies come out because it's all about policy, another policy, another policy. Um, so we decided to check up on some of these these entities or oh, 12 months or whatever after they had been created and so i'd ring up and you would get some woman in most cases pretty rare to get a guy but in most cases you got some woman and i had a list of eight or nine phone numbers one day we'd worked out to, to ring. Ken did the, the background research and got the numbers and then, then I would ring with the, being the, the, the accent was, uh, we used to use that to an advantage because many Americans confuse the Australian accent with the British accent. Right. And so I would sometimes be from from London, uh, in the UK. Jesus. Oh well, it's only just a, a, a short flight from there to Rome. You see. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, and uh, doing the Lord's work for the Vatican. Um, oh, yeah. Um, oh, I would have had a blast with that. <laughs> what we learned, Joey. After you you ring a few numbers and you get the same woman answers the phone, but you got a whole different number. And oh, I was talking to you a little while ago. Yes, yes. And you find out this one woman, she was the husband, uh, the, the wife. Sorry, her husband was some <clears throat> hierarch within the Catholic Church, right. and he would become. Or, or she would become the designated person to answer that phone number that belonged to this long fancy named organization, which they've pulled funding for, right? And sometimes they were talking millions of dollars of funding. Wow. Okay? And it would finish up that this poor bloody housewife with four kids had what you guys call a cell phone, a mobile phone, we call that, and they were directed to her phone number. She would answer the phone and take the people's name and details and pass it on to her husband. <coughs> These entities didn't exist anymore. They never did right. really exist. But there's right. millions of fucking dollars gone somewhere. Wow. Right? Yeah. Uh, and... and uh, and this big new entity that's going to formulate new policy and procedures and whatnot, well, it rips out this big new policy. Thanks, that just cost you a million and a half dollars. It cost them probably 500 bucks worth and a, and a monthly phone bill. And right. they're scamming their own people. Um. <laughs> Jesus. Did I tell you about about dropping emails into Las Vegas? Oh my God! Uh, Ken was visiting wow. a university in uh, San Diego, and the San Diego Cathedral. Um, <coughs> we created a bit of a panic over copyright of the sound of the church bells. It was just some bullshit thing that Ken just stretched and stretched and stretched somehow to the 
point of where he was claiming ownership of the sound of the bells. I oh, my God. <laughs> I was all according to, uh, to the words of Benny the Pope at the time. We loved right. Benny because he was bloody brilliant <laughs> in lots of ways. Uh, <laughs> you guys are a trip. <clears throat> well, what, what happened was uh, <clears throat> San Diego church workers, I guess, the archdiocese <laughs> workers, um, had had such a stressful year, blah, blah, blah. Um they decided they'd hire a couple of buses and they'll slip down to Las Vegas for a dirty weekend and some gambling. As you do wow. when you're a good Catholic. Yep, yep. You know? <laughs> and, <laughs> and Ken Ken said, oh, this is not right. You know, this is, you can't go down there doing God's work. Jesus, Jesus wouldn't understand <coughs> that, uh, <laughs> that the Catholic Church is paying for a busload of people to go down to Las Vegas and fornicate and gamble. <laughs> wow. Now, after my experience in Prince George with, with the mob, and I'd spent a couple of weeks in, in Las Vegas um, at, at, uh, as their guest in a manner, um, <laughs> I understood how big... The mob is in Las Vegas. Oh, God, yeah. So what we did, and I probably still have that email somewhere, we wrote to, wrote a, an email about the San Diego Catholics coming down to Las Vegas. They booked busloads of them, and they're coming down to Las Vegas uh, with the intention of skimming the tables. Right. Now... If there's anything that the mob don't like is some fucking crew who are coming down to skim their tables, to scam, scam <laughs> them. <laughs> Hell, boy. And we dropped 50,000 emails into Las Vegas with that. Oh, my God. You see? Wow. Yeah, um, I get it. What we, did, what we did learn later on was that we must have hit the, uh, oh, one of the big fancy hotels it was they'd gone to, and we must have hit them in our email blast, and they cancelled the accommodation booking right. on them. And so the whole show got cancelled in the finish. Because uh, Ken... Ken... Ken accidentally, some, I forget how his story was, either it, it had something to do with accidentally uh, meeting somebody and they gave him a copy of this email, the one we'd sent into Las Vegas, and he knew which bus company <laughs> they'd booked for. Jesus. And so Ken went around and visited them. And said, "Look, you know, he was a concerned Catholic, seriously concerned Catholic about all of this, and what's this? What's going on?" So, on the same weekend that they lost their accommodation booking in Las Vegas, the fucking bus company pulled out on them as well. Oh. <laughs> ah, shit! Oh. We laughed for months on that one. It was brilliant. It just, it just worked. If you know what I mean, sometimes things yeah, work. Sure, sure. And that sure. one did. That one oh worked like god. a bloody treat. It just god. was so funny. We would have had a. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Ken, Ken would give that's me a right ring. That's right up my alley. Shit like that's right up my alley. Ken would give me a ring and and we'd be on the phone and and nothing but laugh for fucking fifteen minutes. You couldn't talk. You'd start to talk and you'd start to laugh. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Good old boy. <laughs> <coughs> the other thing Ken did, um, if you go and have a look in, 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 I don't know how wide that went, um, he was safety officer, uh, he was a U.S. Marine on, no, on the U.S. Navy, and, uh, and he was a safety officer for the crowd he worked for, they were into welding. 
because um, he was an artist, a welding artist anyway. Uh, what he did was he would report the uh, the church. He'd go and visit a church and he'd have a look and see if there was a sacristy candle burning. And he would take photographs of it and go and report them. It's a safety violation. There's an unattended naked flame. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Oh. Um, hey, I gotta. I don't want to cut you short. You're right. Lisa, <laughs> she went her foot. Went to the foot doctor today. Yes. And she had some bumps and uh, I forget what it's called. Cell cell cellulitis. Cellulite. Yeah. Yep. So she's on a real strong antibiotic, and if uh, it's okay. not if it's not taken care of in seven days, then she's gonna have to go in the hospital. Okay. So, so I've been doing a little bit extra, but I did want to talk to you, and, and it's good talking to you. you All know? right, but uh, I'm I'm going to uh, do some things on my end, right. and uh, there has to be people that knows about trauma. There has to be you people. Know? There has to be lawyers who know that that if there is new information comes to life, then the whole thing can start again. That's the key. Right. That's the key right. as I see it. Yeah, yeah. See what you can find a, out. Be good yeah. to know. And if I, if I get a hold of someone that is uh, interested, mm -hmm. uh, we can just all Skype together. and Yes. And uh, my first can, battle. Joey, then ring Zolkin Lawyers. Um, there's a couple of other people who who have had good lawyers, and I might might be able to find out. We might spend a bit of time and thinking... See if we can come up with the with the right law firm. Yeah, yeah, and you know, um, I like I said, I know you're busy, and uh, you're right, I'm good, and I uh, I do appreciate you, and now you're helping me. Um, so if I we will can kick a goal with that. Then, then yeah, we'd help a lot of people. Okay, all right. Well, hey, uh, Mr. Brown, thanks again for chatting. All right, I'll let you go. All right, and I'm going to go make supper for the kids and wife, and I'll uh, I'll get a hold of you in a couple of days, two or three days. Okay, okay. See what I can find out. Okay. And you have a good, I don't know if it's nighttime, daytime, just have a good whatever.